Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace in the presence of the commander of the Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmad Al Khalifa, the United States Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Justin Seberl, who introduced to His Majesty the new U.S. Naval Forces Central Command and the commander of the U.S. Fifth Fleet, Vice Admiral James Malloy. His Majesty the King welcomed the Vice Admiral and congratulated him on the occasion, wishing him success in serving the region's security. His Majesty the King hailed the depth of historic relations and partnership between the two countries, which are based on mutual respect and coordination, noting the development of bilateral cooperation in military and defense fields, which serves joint goals and aspirations. His Majesty commended the pivotal role of the U.S. administration in maintaining security and stability and promoting world peace. His Majesty also expressed appreciation for the efforts of the previous fifth fleets for his part. The Vice Admiral expressed thanks and appreciation to the efforts of His Majesty the King in consolidating historic relations between the two countries and strengthening military and defense cooperation with the U.S., hailing Bahrain's important role and contributions in establishing peace and stability in the world. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the President of the Russian Academy of Natural Sciences, Professor Oleg Kazantsov, accompanied by the Academy member Professor Yelena Svich Nikia, and the Russian State Duma member and head of the Syrian Russian Parliamentary Friendship Committee, Rasul Botashev, on the occasion of their visit to the kingdom. The President of the Academy expressed honor in presenting His Majesty the King with the Academy's first class. Grand Medal on behalf of academics from various world countries, which is considered one of the most important scientific medals in appreciation for His Majesty's efforts and keenness on developing various science and technology fields and for his role in bolstering bilateral relations. His Majesty welcomed Professor Kozneto, expressing thanks and appreciation for being granted the medal from the Academy, which supports the best scientific thinkers and and contributes to technological advancement in Russia and supports youth initiatives. His Majesty hailed the deep-rooted relations and the fraternal ties between the two countries in light of the joint keenness to bolster bilateral ties in all fields, especially in the scientific and academic research. His Majesty praised the role of the Russian President Vladimir Putin in enhancing bilateral relations and joint coordination and wished Russia and its people further progress and prosperity. The President of the Russian Academy of Natural Sciences expressed thanks and appreciation for His Majesty the King's generous hospitality. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting and the cabinet secretary general delivered a statement. The cabinet congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa for his recovery and wished him abundant health to continue with the progress march of the kingdom. The cabinet praised the contributions of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in enhancing the march of the kingdom and his efforts to achieve the aspiration of the citizens under the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. On the occasion of the 22nd anniversary of the establishing of the National Guard, the cabinet hailed its role alongside security and military institutions in maintaining the security and stability of the country and praised also the role of the BDF, the Interior Ministry, in maintaining the national gains. The cabinet also hailed the high level of the National Guard in assuming their national responsibility, led by National Guard Commander General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then directed all ministries and government bodies to enhance the cooperation to better serve citizens and stressed the need to enhance the cooperation with the Representatives Council to achieve the goals of the Government Action Plan and strengthen the cooperation between legislative and executive authorities. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of the plan in achieving 
achieving the kingdom's strategic objectives through the next four years, as well as achieving the vision of His Majesty's reform project and enhancing financial stability, economic development, sustainable development, and achieving the 2030 vision, which is based on the principles of sustainability, competitiveness, and justice. The Cabinet reviewed the most important economic indicators for the third quarter of 2018, which showed positive growth across all sectors relative to the third quarter of 2017. The indicators show that the gross domestic product reached 3.17 billion Bahraini dinars and growth of 1.6% relative to the third quarter of 2017. Growth also characterized trade as well, as it increased by 20% to reach 2.2%. 2 billion Bahraini dinars. The budget deficit decreased in the third quarter of 2018 by 8.8 percent relative to the second quarter of the same year. The quarter also witnessed the issuance of 12 industrial licenses with investments that amount to 21.5 million Bahraini dinars. The Cabinet agreed to sign a Memorandum of Understanding between the National Oil and Gas Authority and the Italian company ENI to commence discussions regarding oil and gas discovery and extraction in the sea off the west coast of the Kingdom. The Cabinet also decided to coordinate with the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs in this regard. The Cabinet looked into modifying the model regulations of the Basic Law that governs youth centers and agencies, which are under the supervision of the Ministry of Youth and Sports, concerning the periodical meetings of their Board of Directors. The Cabinet decided to refer the matter to Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. A spare suggestion from the Council of Representatives, the Cabinet reviewed a draft law, whereby a new paragraph would be added to Article 32 of the Labour Law in the Civil Sector 36 of 2012. The Cabinet referred the draft law back to the Council of Representatives. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Civil Service Council, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, referred an assistant under secretary to the public prosecution to verify his academic record and ordered governmental entities to cooperate with the Civil Service Bureau in carrying out a comprehensive examination of the qualifications of all senior officials in the government and to report their findings to the Civil Service Council. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain continues to prioritize fairness and justice in all government administrative work streams, in line with His Majesty the King's comprehensive development program. His Royal Highness highlighted that the strict application of fairness and justice guarantees equal opportunities and safeguards citizens' rights. Delegated by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa has participated in the inauguration of Al Fatah Al Ali Mosque and Nativity Cathedral in Egypt's new administrative capital under the patronage of President Abdul Fatah Al Sisi and in presence of a high level delegation from Arab and Islamic countries. Sheikh Abdul Rahman conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King to the Egyptian President and his congratulations on opening the largest mosque and cathedral in the region, wishing the Egyptian leadership and people lasting progress and prosperity. In a special statement marking this occasion, Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa said that the opening of Al Fatah Al Alim Mosque and Cathedral of the Nativity is an important historic event for Egypt, affirming its pioneering role in the Arab and Islamic nations in various fields. He added that the opening of such religious 
establishments sends a message to the world about peace and coexistence. He praised the pioneering initiatives and wise decisions taken by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi to serve Egypt, its people, history and civilization, expressing confidence and faith in the Egyptian people to move forward that would progress Egypt. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Information Affairs, Dr. Abdul Rahman Mohammed Bahar, participated in the meeting of the 92nd Standing Committee of Arab Media, held by the Saudi Arabia Ministry of Information in cooperation with the media and communication sector in the Arab League. The meeting comes within the framework of Saudi Arabia's efforts to promote joint Arab action, especially in relation to the media and communication sector, as part of the celebration of the selection of Riyadh as capital of Arab media. During the meeting, the representatives of the Arab countries discussed a number of items, including the Palestinian cause, the media charter of honor, the Arab media strategy, the implementation of the decisions of the Council of the League at the summit level and the ministerial level, the Arab media map for sustainable development 2030, Arab media in addressing the phenomenon of terrorism and other related topics.